Welcome to this overview of some of the new features of ChemCAD 7. This is intended for people who have used ChemCAD 6, but will be helpful to new users of ChemCAD as well. We'll quickly hit the highlights, then you can find more details on specific areas that interest you in our supporting documentation. Let's start out with what you can see when you first open ChemCAD. If you direct your attention to the palette, you'll notice new graphics for all of the unit op symbols. Importing a simulation from ChemCAD 6 is a simple and straightforward process. The importing procedure can be found in Chapter 4 of the User Guide. You will be prompted to convert the symbols in those simulations to these new symbols or leave them as they were. There are now three built-in color scheme options for the symbols. The default is grayscale, which is shown now. The system color option displays unit ops with similar functions in the same color family. For example, all reactors are various shades of green. Wireframe is the third option and is useful if, for example, you're using the flow sheet to create a process flow diagram. I'll change back to the grayscale for now. You may also notice there are now labels under each symbol. The unit ops are in alphabetical order to help you locate them. The feed and product arrows now appear at the top left of the main palette and each subpalette. Tool tips now include short explanations of what calculations are handled by each unit op. You might also notice that there is no longer a stream connector icon. So let's look at how you build a flow sheet in ChemCAD 7. Click, hold, and drag to move unit ops onto the flow sheet. Now let's add a product arrow, a second product arrow, again click, hold, and drag, and a flash unit op. To connect streams, simply hover over a red outlet port. Notice how the cursor changes from an arrow to a hand. Click on the port to activate it. You will get a red box around the port showing it's active. Move the cursor to the blue port that you want the stream to connect to. When you reach a blue port, the cursor will change to an anchor. Click on the port to connect the stream. Again, watch for the hand. Click. Red box means it's active. Move to a blue port, look for the anchor, and click to connect. And one more time. As we were adding unit ops to the flow sheet, you may have noticed a dashed line appearing. I'll add another unit op now to show you just in case you missed it. This is the new snap to center function that helps align symbols vertically or horizontally. You can use this function once the symbols are on the flow sheet as well. Notice if we move the flash unit up, you'll see a horizontal dash line appear to line this up with a compressor. As well, if we move it to the right, it will align vertically. This 
This function can be turned off and on, either from the toolbar or the view menu. In addition to these flow sheet buttons, you'll notice additional toolbar buttons than those that were seen in CAMCAD 6. The drawing tools and text box functions have been moved out of the palette into the toolbar. Additional formatting and alignment tools are included as well. Now let's look at some other new features in the menus. Under the thermophysical menu, we've added over 180 new chemicals to the component database. Quite a bit of work has also been done under the report menu. In place of the stream compositions and stream properties options, you will find we now let you customize templates to use when you generate a stream report. You can build your own templates to have stream reports display the properties you want to see. You can use these templates to customize the quick view pop-up display as well as generate stream data boxes in the flow sheet. We created pre-built templates which match the stream composition and stream property reports from ChemCAD 6. You can also access this customization menu by right-clicking on any stream or any unit up. When you generate a report, we now customize the format based on the chosen destination. For example, if you chose Word for your report output, the report now takes advantage of the header and footer capability of Word. Reporting in Excel is much faster, especially for large flow sheets. And you don't have to close the Excel report in order to save or close your simulation. That concludes our high-level overview of the new features of ChemCAD 7. For more details on any of these topics, please see the ChemCAD 7 user guide available for download from our website or accessed from within ChemCAD in the Help menu.